Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark, a small country that, despite the global recession, have had a thriving industry, including video games, both indie and large corporations alike. Something peculiar has been making its way back, getting in the focus of academic and public attention alike. Virtual reality. The super hit from the 90s arcade halls have laid dormant in over a decade, but will soon be making a spectacular comeback. Immersion in virtual reality is a perception of being physically present in a non-physical world, a reaction also known as the suspension of disbelief, or place illusion. The so-called immersive virtual environments, an artificially structured environment that is faithfully reproduced to trick our senses, in which an individual can feel just as immersed as he would in consensus reality. A complex problem arises though. How does a potential infinite world of possibilities fit inside the confined space of your average living room? The affordable solution appears to be much more simple than what multisensory, motion capturing, haptic technology, or omnidirectional treadmills might have to offer. Don't get me wrong. Those inventions are fascinating, but again, affordable, not quiet. Frank Steinick, a professor for human-computer interaction at the University of Hamburg, proposes teleportation as a way of achieving locomotion in virtual environments. The method is interesting because it allows for a quicker exploration of IVEL while his means of activation of the ability through jumping, however could potentially be problematic, both in terms of safety and drifting. With this in mind, we propose an alternative method that follows the theory of locomotion through teleportation, but with a different means of activation. Hand gestures through the use of electromyography. The comparative study is simple test hand gestures against jumping and conventional interaction to determine performance. In the conducted experiment, we investigated how teleportation, as a way of locomotion in VEs, have been implemented as an alternative to both walking in place and Steinick's solution. The results were inconclusive, but given no significant difference between hand gestures and our implementation of Steinick's jump-activated teleportation, we believe that there's a reasonable belief to suspect that hand gestures have the potential to offer an alternative to jumping, all the while maintaining the place illusion. This could potentially offer a safer method for IVE locomotion.